Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for September. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is uh, just for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on uh, camera. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in, possibly clarify some of them. Um, and I'll be back. So uh, Libra, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as, um, as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so you're showing up as the sun card because you're kind of representing exactly where you're at at the moment. There's this good feeling about what's happening. I feel like it's more to do with how this person is showing up for you. You know, I don't feel like you've seen them in that light before. I don't feel like you, in fact, I can go so far as to say, you know, just how they're showing up and defending you and supporting you because they're showing up as the seven of wands which we'll get into in a minute is kind of a bit of a surprise i feel like there's a surprise element to that a feel good surprise it's a a welcoming surprise but i feel like it's for a lot of you it's kind of surprising um, that might be due to the fact that you've not had someone just have your back the way this person has been demonstrating that they've got your back um so that to you is feeling good. It's causing you to just kind of focus on what you've built with this person. And that's represented by the, the Queen of Pentacles there. So just what you've built with them um, and feeling like there's, I feel like, and, and you, know, and I, you know, sometimes that can happen, you know, as you see people in their light, um, it just kind of makes you more attracted to them. So there is this feeling of attraction. Um, this level of chemistry that I feel like has gone up since you've seen them in this 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 light. I feel like a bit more is going on there, though, for you, which you're not sharing. Um, yeah, I feel like you're just kind of basking in those feelings currently at the moment. But yeah, like I said, this person is defending you. They're standing their ground when it comes to something about this connection. I feel like it's more to do with Whatever it is be, that's been happening, I'm not sure whether it's coming from this person's, maybe close friends or family. It doesn't have to be for some of you it is, or whether this thing that they're defending you about, or for, or standing there, you know, standing up for you, is coming from your external world, so other just areas of your life that you've that you've just kind of had some drama or challenges around with that five of. Um, Wands, but this person is defending you. It's taking them, you know, the focus of pulling on their strength, though, to be able to do that. Not to say that they're not finding it a bit challenging, which is why I feel like, and because we got this this being pulled energy. I feel like for a lot of you, it 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 is tied to, and this is just for some of you guys, okay, tied to. Maybe this person's family or friends or maybe someone specific that's meaningful to them that plays a certain role within their life is not, what's the word I'm looking for, is not uh, accepting of you two's relationship of maybe the person they've chose to be with. Maybe it has something to do around that because there is challenge around this for them showing up as the nine. This, um Yes, this, they're still sticky as, as they've been displaying. I don't feel like you would know that anyway. This is more about what's going on for them internally, how they feel. Um, like I said, there's been drama with the five. A bit of challenges, a bit of drama, um, which has weighed heavy on you as well. It's been a burden. There's been some heaviness around that. 
like I said, for some of you, it is your external world, so other areas of your world where you've had just challenges and some drama that's gone on, or it has to do with this person's um, maybe close family and friends or acquaintances or whatever the case may be. Uh, well, if it's meaningful, I'm sure it's not acquaintances, but someone in their close circle, um, and they've been trying to, you know, they, they of course, try to fix things, you know, make things right, but at the same time, and this is where I feel like it is something to do with their side as well, at the same time they're being pulled, it doesn't have to be their side, like I said, it could be external, cash, sorry, that's my jack, my jack chief, for some of you who don't know, um, but at the same time they're being pulled, you know, there is this split energy that's being pulled in two different directions, um, because there is, and I'm not sure whether they've expressed this to you, but there is this intention of, you know, love here with the Ace of Cups there. This person has already developed, um, I feel, a strong emotional connection to you, you know, and they've put work into the relationship. So they're serious, ultimately. I feel like you know that. Maybe that's what's contributing to this feel good space that you're in at the moment is knowing that, you know, this is kind of demonstrating to you that they are serious. This person is serious. Their actions are lining up with their words, what they're saying. You know, we always got to look at people's actions as well as their words, you know, see how, uh, you know, it lines. <laughs> but again, it's this challenge that they're facing, which now they kind of, we we have the Eight of Cups there, which talks about walking away from something emotional as well, walking away from something, even walking away from something um, left unsaid, things maybe being left unsaid as well, towards that Ninth Cup. Ninth Cup talks about emotional happiness. So this person is making a choice to walk away or move away from something towards embracing this relationship, continuing on this relationship. Uh, there's been communication there or this person is feeling the need to communicate that to this sword, this knight, this queen of swords type of person. Someone that is maybe a bit controlling. Someone that is, you know, has a, a very dominant uh, type of energy. Uh, I feel like this person is maybe... It's not this this Queen of Swords energy. What I'm trying to say really is, is this Queen of Swords energy. It's not easy energy to interact with, if that makes sense. Um, but they're choosing to do that and communicate that as well. I'm not sure whether they've already done that, but that's what's going on for them internally. You wouldn't know that. I don't feel like you would know it. Uh, for some of you, you might. But yeah. Yeah, they're definitely demonstrating you know the, the, and we'll move into we'll continue this reading um in the video which link that is linked in the description bar below guys but before we move into that you know what's really jumping out and what's really showing up for you is the um how this person it has your back you know how this person is sticking up for you standing up for you you know so let's continue this in the, in the uh video which is linked in the description bar below and i shall see you guys in a bit 